Developing now, we are hearing from the lawyer of the man in jail right now, accused of shooting at a Baton Rouge police officer. This comes just days after the police chief says that officer's body camera and dash camera were not on. Local 33's Amber Smith explains why the lawyer has concerns about the cop. I didn't have no gun. I'm innocent. I'm on the 21 years old. They should, they should record. They, they got the body camera, the, the dash cam. I didn't do that but run. In handcuffs, accused of firing at a BRPD officer, 21-year-old Raheem Howard claims innocence, urging people to check the body and dash camera footage. But Baton Rouge police officers are equipped with body cams, dash cams, and rear cams. And for some reason, in this case, neither of the three were working. BRPD Chief Murphy Paul says the body and dash cameras were not turned on during the incident earlier this month. Ron Haley, Howard's lawyer, is asking for a bond reduction, saying BRPD is asking for patience, but his client is the one who's paying the price while the department investigates. We should not have a gray area in this case, but yet there's a lot of gray area in this case, and that gray area is not because of my client, it is because of the purposeful act of the officer. Haley and State Representative Ted James say this is the second time Officer Yusuf Hamada was part of an officer-involved shooting, and in both instances, the cameras were not on. Let's not ignore the history of this officer who, who killed an unarmed black man just last year. Um, let's not ignore the history of this officer who refuses to turn on his body camera footage that the taxpayers of this parish and this city pay for. For Local 33, I'm Amber Smith. Chief Murphy Paul says the department is listening to audio from the scene and video footage from nearby, but asks for patience while the department investigates.